Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh The Honorable The Founder of Galway Drive Mrs. Amber Ferguson The Honorable The Chairman of Prestasi Student Activity Tom Finch The Honorable The Head of Committee Joanna Lim and respected to all the participants of today's seminar Good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome to the seminar of Scholarship Isai Writing Tips My name is Rivalda Rahma, acting as the MC of today's event. It is wonderful and precious change for me to be your master of ceremony. Firstly, best wishes to all of us and thanks God Almighty because of the blessings and graces we can gather at this event. Praise and salutation upon our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. At this beautiful moment, I would like to say welcome to Mrs. Amber Ferguson, the founder of Girl with Drive and distinguished speakers, guests, and of course, all of the participants. We are delighted to have you all and participate and to share knowledge about the Scholar CBSI writing tips. Thank you for coming. In this special morning, we have several agendas, so allow me to read several sequences of today's agenda. First, opening, second opening speech by the head of committee, Joanna Lim. Third, opening speech by the head of prestasi, student activity, Tom Finch. Fourth, main speech by the founder of Girl with Drive, Mrs. Amber Ferguson. Fifth, question and answer, and sixth, closing. All the blessed audiences, the first agenda is opening. Let's start the seminar by reciting Basmalah together. Step to the following agenda is greeting from the head of committee, Mrs. Joanna Lim. Mrs. Joanna Lim, please welcome. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here today at this wonderful place. My name is Joanna. It is such an honor for me to speak on behalf of the organizer. Let me begin by giving you a warm welcome to the seminar of How to Write a Great Scholarship Essay. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you. You to the ABC crew who generously help us make this seminar come true, Mrs. Harrison, Mr. Parker, and the rest of ABC crew. We could not have done it without you. In today's seminar, we would like to learn about how to make a great scholarship essay. I hope that this seminar will help you to pass the scholarship. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time. I need to hand over it to Rivalda, our today's MC, to introduce our guest speaker to all of you. I would like to say thank you once more on behalf of this seminar organizer. It is great to see so many of you here. Thank you so much and good morning, everyone. Thank you so much to Miss Joanna for the speech. The next speech will be delivered by the Chairman of Prestasi Student Activity, Mr. Tom Finch. Time is yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Amber Ferguson and all of our guests, welcome. My name is Finch and it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of Prestasi Student Activity to welcome you here today. We are delighted to have you with us to participate and share knowledge about scholarship essay writing tips. Thank you for coming. I would like to say thank you to the ABC crew who have worked hard to make this seminar come true. We are honored to have Mrs. Amber Ferguson with us today. Prepare yourself to be challenged, excited, and inspired. And before I hand over to Rivalda, our coordinator for Prestasi, who will outline today's event, I want to say once more on behalf of the ABC Crew Organizing Committee, welcome. It's 
Wonderful to see so many of you here. Thank you. Thank you very much to Mr. Finch for the speech. Now let's continue to our today's main agenda, which we are waiting for. The speech from Mrs. Amber Ferguson, the founder of Girl with Drive. Before we started, allow me to read her bio rara. Amber Ferguson is a journalist and the founder of YouTube channel named Girl with Drive. This channel was built f five years ago at 2015 and her, her first video was Journalism, Conference and Minneapolis Vlog. Her motivation to make this YouTube channel is to provide information about tips and tricks such as get scholarship, land internship, save money, and share her experiences. Well, no. To Mrs. Amber Ferguson, time is yours. Welcome everyone, my name is Amber and I help ambitious millennials reach their goals. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the elements of a good scholarship essay. So a little bit about me, I got over $50,000 in college scholarships for my four years of college, so I've written a lot of different types of essays. And this is one part of my scholarship series where you know I just talk about how to get college scholarships. So you should consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more information. So the first thing you need to do is pre-plan. Figure out all the scholarships you'll be applying for and figure out if there's a common similarity between the essay prompts. By doing this, you'll be able to write just one or two essays, which will save you so much time. And during the pre-planning stage, you also need to figure out all the deadlines for the scholarships so you don't miss out on the free money. Then you're going to craft your story. Write down a few things. What motivates you? What drives you? What excites you? The scholarship judges want to get to know the real you. Do not put anything that they can find out from your transcript or your resume on there. They know you're a good student. They know your test scores. They know your extracurricular activities. So tell them something unique about you. Once you brainstorm and you figure out what you want to write about, you don't have to tell it in a traditional way. So I know I'm a little different when I say this, but like, I don't think you need like an exposition and a conflict and a climax and a resolution. I think you need to start with a hook. So the hook is gonna be two or three sentences that really draws the judges in. So I, I've written two that I can really think that have like a really strong hook. The first one I said, um, my classmates make fun of me because I wear face paint. You see, on the weekends, I work as a clown and as a party host to pay for my college applications and for graduation and for prom. And then I went into, you know, the details of my job. And I said, you know, I can't text my friends because I have these big gloves on my hands and parents are always running away from me. And I have to wear these big floppy shoes and this hot outfit. But then, so I like had a lot of detail, so that's like the body. And then I said, you know, but I've learned so much by being a clown. I've learned how to work with different types of people. And I've learned all the, and I talked about all the skills I learned as a clown and how that will actually like help me in college. And I knew it was like, it was a really unique story. And it's like different, it's like just my after school job. But it really like drew people in, like that hook, you know? Why do you wear face paint? Why do I do this? In the body of your essay, you need to explain why you're even telling the story in the first place. Why is the story important? What did you learn from it? How did you grow as a person? And then you need to explain, like towards the end, why receiving the scholarship will advance you. So I said, you know, through my experiences as a military brat and getting to know different cultures, I discovered my love of history. And by receiving the scholarship, I could advance my studies and teach other people about different cultures because I'll have this historical background. Say you really can't come up with a unique story to tell about yourself. Write about something that you find really interesting. Like, say you love Cardi B. Write about Cardi B. Now, I'm not saying write a biography on Cardi B. I'm saying write about how Cardi B has influenced you. 
say like, you know, I've seen Cardi B's work ethic these past two years and she's inspired me to get a 4.0, to stay in school, to become a valedictorian, whatever it may be. What if you love cars or you love video games? Talk about that, but you know, say how it'll help you in your college endeavors. You know, the sky's the limit. You, it, this is the time to be so unique and there really are no rules in your scholarship essay. So when you're done writing your essay, you're not actually done. You really should have someone else read it. And I suggest having someone who doesn't know the story read it. A lot of times students will go to their parents to read their essay, but the problem with doing that is that their perspective can influence the next draft of that story. You want an outsider's perspective. So I would ask like a teacher or a neighbor or a friend and ask them like, hey, does this story make sense to you? Is it interesting to you? And then after that, you need to heavily proofread it. And this comes in three steps. First, you're gonna read it just the way you would regularly proofread it. And then you're gonna read it out loud. By doing this, sometimes you realize that things don't make sense or that you forgot a word here or there. And then the third thing you're gonna do is run it through a program. I really like Grammarly and it's completely free. There's also a paid version, do the free one. And I was just run it through, like there's so many different types of um, software programs out there and they'll catch like, okay, maybe you need to add a comma or semicolon here. So those are my tips on how to- Thank you so much to Mrs. Amber for the knowledge about scholarship essay writing tips. May it could be useful for ambitious millennial like us and it could be useful in our life. Next agenda is question and answer. For those who want ask something to Mrs. Amber, please go to the comment section and write down your question. Mrs. Amber will answer it soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the question and answer session is end. You can go straight to Mrs. Amber social media to get further answer. To sum up, today's scholarship is writing tips that we get is starting from pre-planning stage. What's your motivation? What do you want to write? What do you like? and start to write a really strong hook, mean body, and a great conclusion. Think out of the box. The last agenda is closing. To close this event, let's say Hamdallah together. Finally, from the deepest of my heart, I do apologize if I were mistaken. Thank you very much for your kind attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh